vitamin D in your gut health or your autoimmune disease, how does it factor in to getting better, to stopping the chronic fatigue, to stopping the diarrhea and the gut pain? I had really bad all three of those. I was diagnosed with Crohn's and colitis, but now I don't have any of those symptoms because I address the root cause. How, how did vitamin D3 or vitamin D in sunlight, how did that factor in to me getting better? Now I go over everything I did in more detail to get better in my free webinar. Now, most people treat their autoimmune disease, their gut issues as a nutritional deficiency. Oh, I'm vitamin D3, therefore I need to get more sunlight, I need to tan more, and or it's I'm deficient in doing healthy things. I need to make my diet healthier, I need to exercise more, I need to expose myself to less EMFs and toxins and stuff like that. Those things are great. That's great that you're getting more nutrients and you're putting less toxins into your body. But why can your friends and family roll in toxins, eat anything, come super unhealthy, and they are much healthier than you? There is a huge part of the equation that we are not even aware of. And when I addressed that thing, I, I like literally gained 20 pounds in the first month of addressing the actual root cause. The actual root cause was a stressful event that put an organ into overdrive. Your boyfriend or your girlfriend broke up with you. You got fired unexpectedly. You had to move unexpectedly and traumatically. There's like, I don't know if, I think they're boiling kids alive out there. I don't know what's going on. Um, but today is like a really, I'm in Spain right now, and today is like a very sunny, nice day in Spain. And I'd kind of been, uh, recently I was, you know, staying at somebody else's house, and their house didn't get sunlight. And it was winter, so it just, like I just wasn't experiencing much sun. And I noticed that my mood just went, and I just felt more lethargic. So, so the way that vitamin D factors into this, uh, there's this term called I'm hangry. I don't have enough food and I feel angry. There's not enough, my blood sugar isn't high enough and I feel angry. And then you eat and then you put a smile goes back on your face. And so when you give your body all the nutrients and energy that it needs, and a lot of these stupid holistic diets are, are not nutrient dense and they're not energy dense, which makes you miserable, which makes it harder for you to deal with the conflict that put your gut into overdrive. So let's say the conflict that put your gut into overdrive or put your thyroid into overdrive is, you know, your partner broke up with you. Do you think you are going to respond to this conflict better on an empty stomach or a full stomach? Do you think you're going to respond to this conflict better in the basement with no sun or lying out on a hot beach and getting sun? Hmm? That's really all that needs to, to be thought about that. You could have the perfect diet, avoid all the toxins. What's causing the majority of your symptoms is that stress putting an organ in and out of overdrive. It's, it's the God's honest truth. Start, start looking into your past. When did the symptoms get really bad? It's when the conflict got really bad and you, and you might have a hard time seeing it because the conscious mind's suppressing it because it doesn't want to deal with it. It's trying to conserve energy. It's great to have vitamin D. Um, vitamin D3, I don't know if you ask me, I know some people will say, oh, I just saw everything got better when I took vitamin D3 and then you go look at them and they still have to walk this holistic tightrope 
And anytime they do anything wrong on this holistic type rope, they come crashing down and they're in bed for like a week just because they forgot to take their vitamin D3. Or, you know, they didn't get their 10 minutes of, you know, sun in their eyes in the morning and now their whole cicada, like, it, you're so fragile. What's causing the majority of your symptoms is a conflict putting whatever organ in and out of overdrive. Now, I help people get better from gut issues and with my 13-day protocol. And it's essentially everything what I would do step-by-step. Step. Like, it has, like, a piece of paper and all these exercises that you fill out to find the conflict, change your beliefs around the conflict, and help you problem-solve the conflict. Because once you're... Like, so if somebody breaks up with you, like, how... Are you going to fix that conflict? You could find a new partner. You could join the nunnery. But, you know, joining the nunnery might be best, but if you get into a new relationship, you are going to take that past trauma into the new relationship. So you, you really have to overcome, uh, you know, and, and fully come to peace with the trauma that you had in that relationship, or it might have even been before that, or even from childhood in some cases, to, you know, live your life without symptoms. It's a really cool process because you really get to learn uh, more about yourself. And so this 13-day protocol that I have, I, I tell you much more about it. I show you much more of the science in my free webinar around all this. Uh, a lot of people just get better just watching my free webinar. Um... But yeah, that's what we got to do. We got to come to peace with the trauma. And most people have a hard time with that today because most people can't even define what an emotion is, including psychiatrists. So vitamin D, how does that factor in? It makes you feel a little bit better, which helps you deal with your conflict better. But don't think that solving your vitamin D deficiency, it's not going to do much for your symptoms because your symptoms are mainly stemming from the conflict activity. Go watch my webinar and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.